Hello, hello everyone and welcome. This is the fourth and final part of my color along for December out of Gnome Sweet Gnome. Again, this is for hashtag finish Gnome Sweet Gnome with Ashley. Um, I am behind this month, so I'm not going to do this part. Like, I may not fully finish the page, but I'm going to do um, color quite a bit of it with you. But because I am so late, the month did not go as planned. Um, I got sick, and then my daughter got sick, and it turned out to be COVID, and it just really hung in there as far as like it took me like four days to get my voice back and whatnot so I know a lot of you have already finished and posted and I need to go through and double check and make sure I didn't miss anybody on the post um, but because so many of you are already finished and ahead of the game I'm just going to kind of go ahead and do more of a color chat than a how to on this one um, so I'm going to start with these and I'm going to do them yellow and kind of give them a goldish feel so to start with, I'm going to take my canary yellow and I'm going to color the whole ribbon. And there's some blue on there, which made it a little green, but that's alright, because when I get all the other colors on, we won't be able to see it. So I don't think I did a whole lot off camera from part three. Again, um, it's been a minute. So I haven't even colored anything this month other than this and like a couple whips I started and didn't go back to. So I honestly don't remember where I left off. I can't find an eraser. Okay, so I colored them both in with yellow and then I'm going to take a goldenrod and I'm going to shade where my shadows would be. Now this isn't my darkest color, so I'm not going to shade out too far, but I'm just going to kind of start putting in that. Now on this kind of bow, I like to work lightest to darkest, just so I can decide where I want my highlights on the bow to be. Um, make sure I'm staying more yellow than I am, you know, turning into brownish when you start getting the gold colors and things in there. Sometimes we start looking a little more brown. And I really want to keep a bright yellow, so I'm going to start with my brightest yellow, work darker. So same thing, just creating a little shadow so it looks like the ribbon overwrap, overlaps here if I could talk. It's darker there. So, um, I also got two new brands of pencils for Christmas, and I would like to try them out on next month's page. So, if you are watching this, even if you've already finished or anything, and I will put a poll up as well, um, I have the Artix 126 or the Derwent Chroma Flow 72. So, which one would you like to see a page done on? And I can always do another page in the other pencils, like for February, or if I do another one for January. Um, so I can still do them both, but what would you like to see first? I'm kind of curious who has what, what, kind of, that kind of thing for planning videos. I haven't even really got to plan January yet. I had so many, so many big plans of things I was going to do, pages I was going to do, projects, videos I was going to get up. <laughs> it just didn't happen. You can still hear my voices trying to go out. It's crazy. I didn't really have like a sore throat. Like, my boy got sick first and we was thinking strep because he had a real bad sore throat and a headache. But <clears throat> Okay, so then I'm just kind of going over that brown with the goldenrod just to soften it a little. So, um, speaking of the behind on videos and plans, I still have some videos to get out. So you will see an influx of videos from me in the next few days, because I'm going to hopefully get a few done tonight and uploaded, scheduled out so that I can start working on January's. Other than that, I think I am ready for the new year. So 
as ready as I can be. Alright, so those are going to be my little yellow bows on there. And then again, if you have any spots you don't like, you can go over with your canary yellow, kind of darken everything. Or I just put a light layer down to start. So why I have this golden rod out, oh, I pulled a little blue into my ribbon there. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do my middle house real quick. And I'm going to do it with golden rod. Now I did see a lady, a friend of mine, who got her page dub like right away off the bat, turn these into gingerbread houses. Cutest little idea ever, wish I would have thought of it first. I am not going for the gingerbread theme with this necessarily. This one kind of does look like gingerbread, but that's not my plan. I'm just putting in neutral house colors. So I'm going to put my window in brown there, and then I will give them some glowing kind of window look. So now that I kind of got my lighter house here in the middle, <clears throat> I'm going to take a terracotta and I'm going to do this house over here, a light shade. And this is going to be more of like a brick ready kind of house. Thought it would be a nice contrast right here next to this green tree. So I will come back and shade this one with Tuscan red, just in case I don't get to it on video here. And then um, for the little chimney up top here, I'm just going to color a few bricks on it randomly with the terracotta, not the whole thing. I'm going to take that dark brown and I'll color one or two. I don't want a whole lot of dark brown. I don't want my chimney to look too dark. But I do want to have a darker color on there. Just darkening that up one shade. Okay. All right, so quickly why I have my colors out, I'm going to put in their little noses. So I'm going to put some nectar, yes, nectar, on the bottom for a little bit of shadow. And then this is salmon pink. Now if you want to give them a little bit of cherry noses so they look like they're out in the cold, you could add a little poppy red or something. I'm going to leave it like this for now, wrong pencil as I pick up a red pencil. And just make sure that my shadow kind of peeks through here. And then I might take a light pink or a deco pink. This one is deco peach. And just lighten up just the center. Okay, I pulled my Tuscan red, so I'm going to come up here. Now, my snow that is hanging off the roof, I will go through and kind of outline that, the edges of that with a gel pen and things, so um, I'm not really going to worry about that too much just yet. Try not to get that in the snow if possible. 
Okay, and then I'm going to take just a little bit of that dark brown that I just had. And in the shadowiest of places, I'm going to add a little bit of that. Sorry, I keep getting interrupted here in my... <laughs> um, this I was going to finish off my chimney up here with. Kind of going over the whole thing a little bit. Alright, got my chimney in, so I will do that with those ones. Of course, this one over here. Needs blended out a little more, so I'm taking my sienna brown. I'm just kind of making sure my dark brown and my golden rod don't have any lines and look nice and smooth. And then over here, this house, I will probably do a nice light umber. Shade it with a little bit of dark. And then if I can find one. Let's see, this, this is a Koi Ainor, but I like the color. So I'm going to put this color down as a base. And then shade it with Prisma Colors. And I will come in with fine liners and do the little wreaths on the door. Probably what I should have done for the chimneys. Right, so those are my houses, minus a few touch-ups and some blending. I'm going over the snow with the gel pen. I'm going to do this little present down here, I think. Trying to decide. Actually, maybe I'll do these first. So I hope everyone that celebrates had a good Christmas. Got lots of fun stuff. We sure did. I got a couple books and some new pencil sets. I'm sure you'll be seeing. So. No complaints here. We didn't get snow for Christmas this year, though. Which this year we're doing a lot of traveling for. Wrestling anyway, so that technically to me is a good thing, but... <clears throat> and I'm kind of winging it here a little bit with colors because... I haven't been at my desk. But my desk was a catch-all over Christmas, so everybody's everything ended on my desk. My pencils just all got thrown back into a little bucket here on my desk, so I don't have all the colors I had out. That's okay. Oh, I forgot this whole piece right here. And I'm actually going to do my berries in Tuscan Red and I will shade them with purple so that they don't blend in with the hat. They're going to look like a hot mess for a minute until I get that purple in there to separate them. But I will have to dig and find that purple in a minute. These down here are also not shaded. Um, I'm not doing a completed pages 
make video this month because I didn't get anything completed. So I'm going to do my favorites of the year and then this page will probably show up in the January completed. I was starting pages and I was really trying to get into it. Things just kept happening and then I got sick and it was, my pages weren't coming out because I was trying more to get them done than to actually enjoy the process and make them look nice. So I uh, ixnayed that plan. I was like, you know what, we're just, we're going to do a favorites and go that route and start fresh with completed pages in January. And that took a lot of the stress off. Alright. Let me get this house over here. So my houses are all a little bit different, but they all have some dark brown to kind of bring them together and balance out. Okay, so I'm going to quickly get my bumper in here real quick. I did color this little present yellow so I could remember that I wanted to do that the same as I did the bows up here. When I find my dark green, I will shade in this a little more. Make my little light here red. So my next one is crimson. I'm going for a highlight right down the middle, kind of. I know theirs are off to the side, but. Okay, and then I can go back and touch up there where I need to with a light gel pen and the darker colors. Let's pull our grays real quick. So I'm going to look for a dark gray. I think I'm going to go 70% cool gray, medium cool gray. I'll pull my cold grease. Let's see, so part of the noise, I don't know where my hand sharpener is. Okay. So starting with that 70%, I'm going to get on camera here. I'm going to do the very edge of this bumper and under all this greenery. So the very edge of my bumper here. 
And then we're gonna shadow these. We're gonna take 50%. And we're going to leave a little spot for a highlight. Still want it to look shiny. Same right there. We're going to leave that little white spot for a highlight. Same right there. So then I'm going to take my 30%. Circular motions to blend. And then I'm also going to use this on the inside of the wheel, I think. And I will darken it with the same, same colors I just used. So, 50%. Make sure I'm doing the same on both sides. I don't need my wheels to look exactly the same, but they do need to look somewhat similar. Okay, and then we'll just smooth out that harshness there. So quickly just finishing my little blue gnome girl. I'm just putting some indigo in in the darker spots. I used cloud blue and blue lake for my other colors. Making sure that indigo will blend nicely. And take a little bit of white if I can pick it up here. Okay, pardon the noise. I'm gonna also color the band on this present green. And I will darken those again when I find my dark green pencil. It's hiding in there somewhere. This is a 90% gray. I'm just touching up around my trees so they don't lose their kind of pokey edge Christmas pine look.
Do my little Christmas angel here. I got a gold and a red gel pen. So I'm gonna do her little hat red. Now I am sticking with the Christmas colors on mine. This is a flare gel pen. These are like four dollars for I think you get 10 different color gel pens. Get a silver, gold, black, dark blue, light blue, all that fun stuff. But they are super glittery and juicy. I don't invest a lot of money in gel pens just because I don't use them a whole lot. I use them for accents, but I don't. This is about due for a new one. I pull my new one. Okay, oh, sorry for the wiggle. So then I'm gonna color her whole wing gold. This is a moonlight metallic, or a jelly roll metallic, sorry, not a moonlight. I'm gonna do the little bottom of her dress. Oh, got a little wild with it there. Okay, and then I'll color her hair and her little nose in. I'm gonna let that dry first before I do our hair so I don't smear it everywhere. I'm gonna do his little mitten brown. Her, I waited on this because I wasn't sure, but I think this is her mouth. That's how I'm going to color it, and then I'm going to finish her little dress with this. Okay, I'm going to blend that together with the white so it gets that smooth fabric look. Deciding what else I want to tackle here. I'm going to pull a jasmine and do my gift tag over here. And then I will take a fine liner and go over the Just For You in a different color. And take that itty bitty golden rod. I did not order a set of Prismas this year, but I still might order some open stock of colors. But I decided to venture out and try some new pencil brands this year, so we'll see. I might regret my choice later and miss my Prismas. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little bit of that light umber. Let's see 
leave up that little spot there where I left a line. I'm going to take canary yellow on these houses up here. And do the windows. my window frames put in here. Some of these are going to have to be touched up with some fine liners because they're pretty tiny, but let's get started anyway. So on the darker houses I did lighter window frames. On the lighter houses I did darker window frames. And I'll touch them up if I need to. All right, so I am going to leave it there for as far as the video goes because I'm starting to lose my voice and I keep getting interrupted anyway. Uh, sneak peek if you are joining for January. I should have marked it, but give me a second. Again, I don't have anything together but there is a cute little maybe this one right after it ice skating rink page um and then depending on how we're feeling we might tackle this one too because it does have some of the Christmassy kind of winter feel to it so we'll kind of see we'll do one and then the other so sneak peek if you are joining in this is our January page um, I will have this one finished up and hopefully posted for those of you that need to or like to see it finished shortly. Questions, comments, requests, anything like that, please let me know. Thanks again to all of you that are joining in on the Finish Gnome Sweet Gnome with Ashley. The pages are looking great. There are so many of you joining in and participating. It's fantastic. I can't wait to see you for January. Bye.